Welcome back to today's video, and today we're going to highlight James Prochet. He had seven catches for 76 yards. I think he's earned the right to, to be a, not earned the right to be a role player, but he's earned the right to have a significant role in this offense. Um, his route running, his hands. Now, he's not out answer at punt return or kick return, but as far as a slot receiver, he's the guy that can get it done. And so this video is going to highlight James Prochet, seven catches, 76 yards. And you won't get me on the screen today, so you won't be seeing my Denzel-like looks. So um, just bear with it. So coming at you today, again, I really wanted to highlight uh, James Prochet. And this is Prochet right here. Um, seven catches, 70-something yards, which is his best game by far as a Raven. I'm really just going to go through all seven of his catches and just show you how much I really like this cat. Again, trying to keep the positive theme. There probably is going to be one negative video this week, but it it, it has to be shown. But for now, we're going to concentrate on Prochet. And again, right here, this concept is going to be all slants. And all these guys are going to run slants right here. Every last one of them. Slant, slant, so, slant. Mark's going to run a half slant. Then Hollywood's going to run a slant. And really, he's just going to, Josh is going to find a window. He's going to, Prochet is going to make this man go outside come inside, then Josh is going to hit the window. Then I'll show you the window from the back view. There he is right there. And Josh is going to fit it right there. Going to fit it in that window. See that? Do it low so Prochet can go get it. And I don't know. I don't know if they called him down or not. I think they did. That ball's in the perfect spot. Perfect spot. Then it's a ball out quick. We're going to talk about that later on, too. But that ball's in the perfect spot. Set your feet. Throw. And even if he don't take those extra two steps, he probably get an even better throw. He kind of threw off his back foot. So let's look at it from the back view. That he's going to put it in this window right here. Right there for crochet. And then throw it low so this so this guy right here can't knock him out. Do it away from this dude. All right, this next play I'm going to highlight. Now, crochet is right here, and he's going to get a catch. But I think this is a straight cluster F. And when I pause the screen, you'll see what I'm talking about. But first, let's talk about Prochet. Prochet is going to run, uh, um, it's, it's going to be, uh, I think it's a hitch and a seam route. And Prochet is going to kind of catch the ball right in this area right here. So he's, uh, and it's going to be a good throw by Johnson because Johnson's not going to lead him into the defenders. So let's go ahead and watch that part first. He got walled off right there. And, you know, the guy's walling him off and looking at at, at Bateman. Proche, I mean, not Proche. Um, Johnson going to hit him right in his window. What it is is he's not going to lead him up the field where 20 or 37 can hit him. He's going to kind of stop him. Proche going to make the catch. See, like a little back shoulder catch. But look, I don't know if you can see it on your screen. This all hands. Watch this. All hands. Nobody. All hands. On a good back shoulder throw. Now, with that part being said, watch this. This is a straight cluster. I'm gonna, I'm gonna illustrate to you why. All right, because down here at the bottom, you got this hitch by Bateman. You got the seam route by by um, Prochet, who caught the ball. Now you got like a little rare route by Hollywood. You got an out by Andrews. You got a screen by Wallace, and you got a lineman down the field. So how is it possible to to have this concept that you actually throw down the field and you got Villain away with downfield too? Where's the and I know this is a film on, on Prochet, but when I saw this I had this this can't possibly be executed right. You got routes going down the field and the ball's being thrown down the field. 
Because normally you can't risk running a screen with that in the NFL. You can't risk it. But we got it off. Pro Shaker made a nice catch. Johnson made a nice throw not to lead him into the defenders. And we'll take it. But I'd be willing to bet this is a cluster. I'd be willing to bet. All right, for Prochet's third catch, he's here. Uh, Bengals look to be in some kind of man-free look. So he iso with 21. It's a one-on-one -on -one matchup. I told you this man got routes. Stick him inside. Then use his strength to throw him off. Great whip route. Now he's wide open. All hands. Hands catch. Nobody catch. And get some yak. First down. And that was third and that was third down. Third and six. Third and six. The man gotta play more. He got to. He has to. I don't know if we'll see it on his back view. But there's separation right there. Let's go back. Look at the separation on the right corner of the screen. Look at that separation right here. All that space. Let me see if I can get catch to catch. I couldn't catch the catch. But then, balance. Kept his footing. Make sure he got the first down. Get this man some more spin, man. Alright, this next catch, next catch is going to be kind of like a scramble drill. Let's see what his original route is first, and then we'll see the adjustment. And uh, and shout out for the O-line on this play, too, because that gave Johnson enough time where he didn't have to scramble. He still was able to, you know, execute scramble drill from basically in the pocket. But here's Proche right here. Still matches up on 21, but they in some kind of zone. Proche running a little dead. You got a flat route here. You got a curl. You got a dig by Proche working the middle. And guy has pretty good coverage on him, but no use to continue to run this dig because then he's going to run it into the, the linebacker, running into 51. So pretty much all of um, Johnson's Guys are kind of locked down. Even though he could drop it off to Andrews, that'd probably be for no game. Uh, he, this guy's kind of in the, the throwing lane if he want to throw up here to this guy. So he's going through his progression. Johnson, I mean. And they come back to Proche. Proche's covered. And he just decides to whip around. Just decides to whip around and come back this way. And Johnson delivers a strike. He gets it and gets down. Gets it and gets to the point where Bates can't can't knock his block off. Yeah, first progression not there. Second progression, Prochet not there. Looked over there to Mark or to Hollywood not there. As a matter of fact, this is Hollywood. Now he loses to Mark. Mark not there. Then he comes back. Come back to come back into Proche and Proche see it, he just pivot out. Watch it that strike. Hand, another hands catch. Another hands catch. Nobody catches, and then able to get down before he gets to take a lick. Hey, more more Proche, less less uh, record. More Proche, less record. Now, again, this is a growing theme of this this uh, video. This man had routes. He got good feet, good body control. Watch this route right here. Watch what he does at 21 again on this. Now, he, he planting his foot like he about to run a little end cut. 21 going to try to jump it. Nope. Not an end cut. Pivot and reverse back out. Wide freaking open. Wide freaking open. And get yet. Why this man ain't been playing if he can do stuff like this? Uh, I don't understand. Look how look how open the field is. You know, with with all these receivers out here. Just look, it's it's empty, obviously. But look how open the field is. Look how open the field is. So, so you know, obviously we don't have great tackles. And say this is Lamar back here. And for some reason, say they cover all this. Look at the lanes he got to run if that's Lamar. Because the field's so open. It ain't congested 
with a fullback and two tight ends. And I know, again, this is about pro shade, but I just got to point out this other stuff that we've been talking about, you know, the problems we got. But that's a great route. Great route. And it allows him to get yak too. Didn't get the first down, but allowed him to get yak. Uh, and this is Prochet's, what, six and seven catch that came in, in you know, back to back plays. He's just going to run a little hitch route uh, and sit it down in front of 21. And 21 is kind of cheating to the tight end. So this is a great read by the quarterback because Hollywood is walling him off. He's trying to cheat to 83, I guess this is. Can't tell, really. But he's trying to cheat to 83, and Johnson does a good job of fitting it in there. Proche probably should have sat in that spot. I know he's trying to work away from this DB, but because this hitch is out here, and I don't know if he should be wider or whatnot, probably should have just kind of stayed right there. But he still did a good job of catching it and absorbing the hit. Good job of catching it and absorbing the hit. Now, next play, he get the ball again. Let's, let's see if we can find him. Now, I think he's right here. Right? Yeah, this is him right here. Run the slant and flattening that slant out so the dude can't undercut it. Did a good job of flattening that thing out. So right there. Uh, normally, you want kind of a guy to kind of run at that angle. But if he do that, he got a chance to jump it. If he run at that angle, he could jump that. So what Proche does is come out, kind of flatten that thing out, and use his body to wall him off. Watch. So he flattened that thing out. Got his hands in there. I think it's a hands, another hands catch. Got the first down. Got the first down. Let's see it from this view. You see it, how his body's in front of this guy? So he can't jump it now. So now it's up to him to just use his use his hands to, to catch the ball and put it away. Hands. Now, they ain't far away from his body like they've been, but this ball not on his, on his pass either. Has a good hands catch, good firm grip. Holding on to the ball. And so looking back on it, pretty much all these catches are on 21. So he kind of had his way with 21. I don't remember 21 making like big breakups or anything like this, but but Proche had seven catches, 70 something yards, pretty much all on the same dude. So this cat, I think he's earned the right to play. You know, more Proche, less record. And I'm really interested to see. If Lamar comes back, do we keep running this style of offense? Interested to see if Lamar comes back, but I doubt he do. Do we continue to run this style of offense? You know, and, and even going forward, because I, I, I just don't think they're going to fire the, fire the uh, coaches because of uh, all the injuries. So with that being said, we'll see. We'll see. We're going to play it out Sunday. Got a big game um, Sunday versus the Rams. Um, they got Cooper Cup. They got Odell coming. We're going to see. We're just going to pray and see. But uh, this is the first video of the week. Again, we're going to stay positive with the exception of maybe one video. And uh, we're going to keep it pushing, man. I appreciate you guys for rocking with me. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you soon. Coach out. Salute to the Patreons. I appreciate all you guys for your continued support.